I'm Claire, and I'm a senior at TJ. Throw the dip. Right. <laughs> and uh, this is to my ex stepdad, or whatever you call a stepdad that's not a stepdad anymore. The day you left was simultaneously the best and worst day of my life. I was ecstatic when the police came to remove you like surgeons to a tumor. That's what you were, a tumor metastasizing. Meth terminated any shred of decency you had left. You claimed silver cars controlled by my mom were tracking your every move. Tried convincing my sisters and I that she was filming pornos upstairs in our rooms and had the ax ready on the coffee table in case one of her hitmen finally came for you. Paranoia became your whole life. And I wasn't too thrilled with the fact that it was my first day of high school and before you left that night, you sat there tapping my mom's forehead like a child to a fish tank until she cracked and gave you the keys. That was the first time my voice stood up to yours. And I don't remember what I said exactly, although the feeling has not left my memory. I felt like I could have killed you. I remember hoping that if you did end up leaving to get your next fix, the road would hit your skin before you could hit the brakes. Insanity. I got closer and closer with every near sleepless night of ninth grade that I spent locking and relocking and relocking the front and back door that I spent crouched down, scoping out the underside of every table or staring out every window in the house because I saw shadows that in one way or another resembled people, investigating each square inch of my room until I was sure nothing was there. Paranoia became my life and I was searching for you. But don't kid yourself, I wasn't looking because I missed you. I wasn't on edge because the house felt twice as big without you in it. I was looking because I was terrified you'd come back, that I would have to see you again. So before I could shut my, before my eyes could shut each night, I made a list of names with I love you following each one in hopes that it would prevent harm to any person I mentioned. Mom, I love you. Celia, I love you. Michael, Melissa, I love you. The list was long, but you were never on it. And I want to cry or puke or something to purge myself of any feeling I still hold for you, whether it be hate, guilt, or pity, until indifference is no longer a mask I wear to pretend I would even care if something happened to you or didn't, until you become a stranger. And I know that's impossible, just like you being on my list.